Hi, I'm Sergeant Colin Travy, uh, the neighbourhood sergeant here for Kidlington. As you can see, this is High Street where we've been having uh, a lot of anti-social behaviour uh, with uh, nuisance calls to the public as well as intimidation. And this area here is going to cover our dispersal order which is going to last for six months um, but will, may well be reviewed after three. Uh, the type of problems that we've been having is threatening behaviour by uh, a hardcore group of 12 uh, to 15 youngsters. We've had intimidation to customers outside Tesco's and co-op and from Martin's uh, news agents down the road. And this is just but one tool in the box that we can use to try and reduce uh, the low-level criminality and improve uh, public confidence. This dispersal order will allow us, if there's two or more in a group, uh, the, uh, the power to tell them to move out of this given dispersal area uh, and if they fail to do that they will be arrested. Uh, this, as like I said, is just one tool that we're going to use proportionally to deal with the main ringleaders and hopefully break uh, the morale of the rest of the hangers-on. We couldn't uh, instigate a dispersal order right at the beginning. We've tried other methods and tools like arrests, curfews, um, more direct patrols and uh, the Operation Yatag, which is one of my uh, uh, undertakings to get a joint agency to go, but they've all proved a bit limited. So I've had a big consultation uh, with all the residents and the uh, businesses down here, and we decided that it was a good idea. And we've got the support of the local community to try and to make this a, quite a nice area because Kidlington is a nice area to live, uh, and we don't want any uh, a few hardcore to spoil it for everybody else. It's getting to a point where it's driving people insane. They cause riffraff in here. Um, I don't know why they don't go to school, but why they have to congregate here when they've got fields and parks where they can go. We couldn't get in Tesco because they wouldn't let a co-op, because they wouldn't let us in, so we had to walk all the way round in front. I did mention it to the manager. I've actually yeah, been victimised by them. They hit me with apples harassed me, chased me down, so I'm very happy that someone's finally doing something about it because Killington's a good place and I don't want it to go downhill because of this, you know.